We're back, and Moonbeam is still being tailed by these big, muscly dudes. They look like Final Fantasy, uh, what is it, which one is it, 12 characters? The judges who go around with the big horned helmets. I never actually finished that game. I'm a big Final Fantasy fan, but um, it just never really caught my attention. None of them since 10 have really enthralled me as much as the older ones do. I don't know what it is. I think there's been new teams involved and all that kind of thing. Um, I wonder should I play one of the games as one of my series, actually. That could be fun. I mean, I've okay, I've played through 7, 8, and 9, about and 10, about 10 million times. But maybe someday I'll do it again. Um, anyway, where was I? Yes. Moonbeam, he's uh, heading home to... What's he doing? Smuggling the locket. Oh, yeah, the locket. What locket? I <laughs> completely forget. Um, where's he going? Yeah, we picked up this um, locket for some reason. Is that it? No, that's the royal journey by the monarch. Home save! But I didn't really think this through. How do I get this locket out of me? Oh, right, he put a locket up his bum, didn't he? Um, or in his mouth. Well, oh, and I have to pick how to pass it. Oh, because the queen is acting weird, of course. Okay, it's all come back. How should he get it out? He could eat it or vomit it up, or could, you know. Yeah, I think we're going to go for this one. What comes, goes in must come out. I'll use the chamber pot. Where's the chamber pot? Um, Do we have one of those? Let's buy one, anyway. I can't believe chamber pots are a thing, actually, and I didn't know they existed, because, uh... Everyone must just be holding it in all the time. Yeah, there we go, a brass chamber pot. Well, the things you learn. Everyone in this kingdom is just going in the woods and wiping with their hands. It's horrible. Retrieve the locket, anyway. Oh, here we go. Why is he reaching in the front? Oh my god, oh my god, why is he pulling it out that side? The... the why did you do that? Oh my god, he, he's hardcore, I'll give him that. Uh, <laughs> that must have hurt. My eyes are watering a little just thinking of that. How big is this locket? I mean, I hope it had no pointy bits on it that would have, like, dragged on the way or got caught on things. Ugh. Anyway, bedtime. He needs a rest to recover from that. And uh, then we have to go wash this locket somewhere. I like that he hasn't washed it yet. He's probably still clutching it in his hand as he goes asleep, rubbing it against his face and stuff. Ugh. That's how you get a disease. Although it's all stuff that's inside him, so it might be um, that he's immune to it. I don't know. Maybe that's how it works. Uh, where was I going? Somewhere he can wash it. The church, of course. The church, we have um, some sort of washing facilities. We have uh, the holy water font, and we have Sorolo's bath, the holy water bath. So it's for baptisms, really. Uh, yeah, let's go wash it in this one over here. Can I wash it in the bath? No. Let's wash it over here, then. There we go. What's his achievement? Does he get one for pooing? No. Watcher's wrath. This is the royal locket. One of the corpses must have been Lady Brindy the Great. Oh, how terrible. If she's dead, who's posing as the monarch? Oh, no. Um, what should we ask her to verify she's real? I'll ask her about her favorite childhood toy. I'll ask her about the inscription on the locket. Childhood toy, because, I mean, she could have read the locket if she had murdered um, the real Brindy. The monarch's journal said her favorite toy was a toy castle. I'd, I'll test the monarch on that. Where's she gone? She's all the way up here. Let's go test her. Give her an exam. Two hours long. No one can leave in the first hour or last half hour. One question worth 100 marks. Why have there been so many dark armoured guards in the throne room lately? I don't recognise any of them. That's a very good question, Moonbeam. Where is he? Ah, oh, there he is. He was hiding behind that pillar. He's a really good spy. Go on, you quiz her. You find out what Brindy's up to. I, uh, don't know. Itchweed flowers, I guess. They were fun to play with. Why do you ask? This monarch is an imposter. I must find out what she's up to. Maybe the strategy table has a clue. Let's 
watch it then. I think that's what I meant to do. Or study it, maybe. Um, I'm watching it, but nothing's happening. So, oh, here we go. Study the monarch's plans. Oh, man. Uh -huh. The foolish imposter used this table and left her plans out in the open. She's been hauling all of New Connertania's treasure to the ship. This is all one grand robbery. Tax us to death, then run off with it. It looks like there's a secret exit through the cave she's been using. Okay, anything else? Or is that it? Oh, look at those models. They're, they're pretty cool. This cannot stand. What will I do? I'll assassinate her. I'll confront her. Well, he's a hippie. He's about peace and love. I think he's going to have to confront her rather than actually straight up murder her. He's not a cold-blooded killer. He's too incompetent for that. I won't stand for this. I'll take it up with the imposter directly, no matter what it costs me. You're an imposter, man. You're through the looking glass. Go on, confront her. Why aren't you confronting her? She's right there. He's getting shy. Oh, man. Uh, I'm tripping balls. Traitor, off with your head. Into the pit you go. Oh, no. Die with honor. Um. <laughs> that didn't go as planned. Crap. Uh-oh. Looks like Moonbeam's in trouble. The constable's coming to arrest him. <laughs> I'm having an out-of-body experience or something. <laughs> Where is he? I, I can't see Moonbeam. Where are you, old friend? Are you in the hut? Why are you in the hut? You're not meant to be in the hut. Oh, there he is. Oh, man. Dying with honor. Oh, no, he's just throwing stuff at these guys in the stocks. Okay, now he's going to die. Mmm... <laughs> No, just, just don't die. Moonbeam, no. Oh my god, is this actually going to happen? Is he actually going to be killed? No, probably not. These missions are also harmless. Everyone survives. I bet he'll find a way out. Oh man, oh no. The end. Look at him cackling there. Van, the executioner. What kind of name is Van? It's a mode of public transport, not a name. It sounded almost like he said, and then. That was kind of cool. Very fitting. Oh, well. I, I guess this could be the end of Moonbeam's amazing adventure. Oh, no, no. There he is. He's climbing out. Oh, I think he's... No. Oh, okay. I hear fighting going on. He's not giving in without a fight, at least. He's uh, trying. Come on. Come on, Moonbeam, you can do it. We we all believe in you. Well, I believe in you. Sort of. Like, I, I give you a 50% chance. 30, maybe. Um, 5. Oh, no, he's up. Look at him, he's... Go oh. Oh, no. No, just... Oh. Crap. Um. Come on, dude. Hurry up. I'll just fast forward this. This is taking ages. He's out. He's won. Oh, my God. Moonbeam won. Does anyone ever actually die in that pit? I can live through this. Nothing's going to stop me now. I must save New Connertania's wealth and assassinate the imposter. First, I need to find the kingdom's treasure and the imp that imposter. <clears throat> First, I need to find the kingdom's treasure that the imposter is about to smuggle away. Okay, I have to go to the ship. Get the treasure. Let's go. I'll stop throwing fruit at people and just get on the ship. Where's the ship? It's over here somewhere. It's the friend ship. And it's sailing your way, dear viewer. Uh, let's see. Oh, so, such a long walk. And he's getting hungry as well. Maybe maybe he can stop for lunch after he's got the money back. I was at the docks anyway. Um, I don't seem to be able to interact with that. Maybe his mood's not good enough. Who, who are these? Bertram. Angelina. Sean. All stand-up people, I'm sure. Um, recover the stolen treasure. Look at him. He's just going to walk on and 
calmly walk off with it. Or the boat will leave without him. I'll just dispatch these two dark armored guards. Now if I pry up these loose floorboards, I'd better get my dagger. There's a huh. The smuggler's hold is brimming with stolen treasure and tax money. All protected by booby traps. Oh no, he's gonna trap his boobies. <laughs> There's been a lot of horrific stuff going on in this video. Um, but it's all for the best. So much rich stuff. There must be billions down here. How's the ship still floating with all this gold on it? Gold is pretty heavy, actually. The ship doesn't look very big. I think that's the last of it. I was going to go home after this as well. Look how hungry and tired he is. I'll return this when I know you, Connor Daney, is safe. But now to plan an assassination. At night I'll be less noticeable, like the darkest of coals covered in soot as deep as dusk in a sealed coffin six feet under when everyone is blind. Oh, he has jobs to do today as well. Press people for information, feed the beast. Okay, I better get on those as well. Um, not immediately. Yeah, he, oh, he's getting some food. That's what I wanted him to do. Have some more of his seed porridge and uh, get some sleep. And then we can go around pressing people for information, feeding beasts, uh, assassinating monarchs. You know, the everyday stuff. What's, uh, oh, what's this? As under spy moonbeam slept, nascent feelings of comfort and happiness began to solidify into a beautiful dream. In the distance, soft music was carried on a fragrant spring breeze, and smiling faces cheered his approach. Moonbeam could see a shining golden rod leaning to road leaning towards a breathtaking paradise in the opposite direction the road faded into a thick mist though moonbeam could almost make out a dark and still bedchamber barely visible through the fog embrace joy it appeared that the dream had something to say and a spy moonbeam would allow himself to be swept along by the cheering throng towards the vision of paradise what would come would come control dream the dream seemed to be offering paradise to underspy Moonbeam, but this was not the product of his own mind. He could seize control of the dream and take paradise. I think Moonbeam is definitely an embrace to joy kind of guy. Oh yeah, man, this is so cool. This is so trippy. I've leveled up. Well, that's pretty good. Um, higher chance to pick pocket, more proficient at poison making, fighting proficiency increases. Reduced damage when fighting without armor and steel defense unlocked. Okay, well done. Under Spy Moonbeam joined the cheering crowd of familiar faces and was carried steadily towards the vision of paradise. Before Moonbeam knew it, bliss surrounded him like a warm, secure blanket. A hundred beautiful scenes, each filled with a thousand precious moments, paraded across his senses. Within every second, a lifetime was lived in joy and cheer, each iteration greater than the last. And he's got a pipe dream buff. I bet it has come from his pipe. <laughs> Whoa, what a dream that was! He's moderately injured. He's got a moderate injury. Uh, oh, after the pit, I suppose. Yeah, that's what'll happen. Okay, let's go interrogate people. Um, Where's he gone? Oh, there's no one in here. Here's someone. Uh, the town crier. Press him for information. Peep! Give me information. Tell me what's up, man. Or I'll cut you with my sword. You too. Oh, I love that guy's sideburns, actually. Look at him. He's got big, blonde sideburns and no hair at all. It, it takes a brave man to pull off that kind of look. Can he... No, he can't press kids for information. How about this woman over here? What's her face? Amy of Tredany. Oh, she's, um, Sorolo's wife. She'll have lots of dirt. Sorolo's got, um... A lot of skeletons in the closet. Literally. I mean, I was looking for a load of bones in my Minecraft game. I could have come here and gone to Sorolo's closet. There we go. And now let's feed this beast. I need some meat for that, which I don't have. What the hell is that? The royal treasure. The king killer sword. What's well, got 271 lives. That's the value. And the treasury fund. Value 35 trillion. Oh, I can just pay this in lost treasure. I can pay off the lost treasure debt. Maybe I'll just do that instead. Um, 
Oh, I'm not going to have time to feed that beast, am I? Well, let's see. Uh, can I just pay that back? Um, no, I can't. I don't think it's an option. Because I actually do have that amount of money now. I mean, okay, she'll probably notice the stuff I stole from her. But it could be kind of cool just to see what happens. Anyway, get to the shop, Moonbeam. Pick up some meat. Uh, what, what, what kind will we get? Boar meat? Is there just general meat? Because I know that's a thing. A, a bit of bear. Why not? We've been feeding it bear so far, and it's been fine. Amidst the bus bustle of town, under spy Moonbeam suddenly heard a commotion ahead. Dashing to investigate, Moonbeam came upon quite a sight. A pair of brigands terrorizing a defenseless mother and a tiny child. The fiends appeared to be trying to wrestle a bag out of the woman's hands. Help the mother. The injustice would not stand. Under Spy Moonbeam sprang into action. Help the muggers. Under Spy Moonbeam could help the bandits steal the bag. Who knew what was in it? Maybe good stuff. I think I got this before. Uh, help the mother. Why not? That's what Moonbeam would do. Moonbeam charged to the defense of the mother with a cry of, Halt! Thieves! Unfortunately, in the confusion of the crowd, Moonbeam was unaware of the other brigands all around him. In moments, Moonbeam found himself on the ground, having been pounded several times with heavy clubs. Ouch. Okay, he's got a major laceration now. Ooh. Uh, well, at least we can feed the beast and finish our quest now. Can't we? There we go. Okay, is it midnight yet? No. Oh, I think I left this too long. Oh, no, not long enough. It hasn't passed midnight yet. That's good. That's all very good. I'm, I'm trying to zoom out, but it won't let me click on the thing. Ah, there we go. No. Oh. Why can't I zoom out? Oh. Ah, there we go. Okay. Zoomed. Now. Let's go home. Have a bit of a snack. Look at look at the way he's limping. Oh my god, he's pretty severely injured. Uh, this is kind of bad timing right before the assassination attempt, but uh, I think we'll manage. Just make some food in here, some gruel. Lovely plate of gruel. Look at this cage. Oh no. Is that where we, we were keeping the crab prince? Has he escaped? No, he's probably still in the throne room. What is this room? It's like a banquet hall. I don't remember any of this. I'm sure I built it. I mean, yeah, that's the throne I like. I probably made this room myself, but I just don't remember it at all. How it got here. Was it here all along? These guys are friends now. Amy and Richard. Oh, have to be careful there. Don't want uh, Amy having any affairs behind Sirolo's back. He's a dangerous man. He'll have the Watcher strike her down. Oh, no, Sydney's here. He's, got, he's sworn to defend the... Uh, Queen. He was thinking of donkeys there for a minute, though, so he's a little distracted. Okay, watch this game, and then once midnight hits, we're going to kill the queen. There we go. Oh, use the cave passage. I'll turn their secret passage against them. Time to end the imposter. It, what cave is it in? The one down here, maybe? There's some sort of screaming going on outside. I'm not sure what that is. Um... I'm already in the palace. Why do I need to use a secret passage to sneak in? Oh, well. Yeah, there's something outside my window. It's probably something World Cup related. You know, all that ball footing they've been doing recently. Haven't been following it much. Under Spy Moonbeam searched the darkest recesses of the cavern until he found a hidden passage. Under Spy Moonbeam snuck into the throne. Snuck into the throne, not the throne room, actually to the throne. He's actually inside the chair, like, Help me, man, I'm caught in a chair! Like Danny DeVito in that episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. He's going to get really sweaty and just a naked hippie will burst out of it in the middle of court tomorrow. I put down, I'll put so much poison in the imposter's food that she'll die. Go to the afterlife, then die again, he vowed. That doesn't look like him there in the picture, Looks like a much more professional spy. Moonbeam did the deed, then slipped out unnoticed. Okay, man. Let's go. Now to wait until they eat their final meal. Look at these graves. Can I read them? 
when people die, do they actually go to this graveyard or is it just decorative? Oh, there's plants here. Let's let's pick the, some flowers. 